for joining me today. Um, as you might have seen from my most recent video, uh, Get Ready With Me for Belfast Fashion Week, yes, I have been attending my fourth season of Belfast Fashion Week since I've lived in Belfast. And it was the second season that they were at St Anne's Cathedral, which was just such a stunning location for the show. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely had a fantastic time. And some of the looks from the local designers to the high street looks um, were just absolutely gorgeous. So I thought today I would just sit down and talk you guys through all of my favourite looks from the shows and um, the pieces that I personally think are really worth investing in and the kind of pieces that I would like to wear on like a long term basis and not just for one season only because you guys know I'm all about making the most of our clothes and buying for the long run as opposed to a really fast fashion approach. So yeah, I'm gonna talk you guys through all my favorite looks of the show. I'll insert clips so you can watch all my best bits. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna start off talking about these gorgeous looks from a local designer called Rudy Maguire. These dresses I absolutely fell in love with. Um, they're just so on trend for the season in terms of that like exposure look and having that little bit more on show. But obviously the way he's put them together in a very kind of couture way is just so so tasteful. I adore the way he's used that kind of sheer fabric and you know the Tule material on the skirt but he's made it super sexy by adding in that split at the front and bringing in the waist with that gorgeous belt. It's such a feminine look and this guy clearly understands like femininity and shape and like how to make your figure look amazing because these dresses I just absolutely fell in love with. I feel like he's gone from like couture and like very Dior-esque to like a really lovely kind of grungy take on this look as well. And that's what I love about, um, you know, the way he's put together these three dresses is that they kind of, they all complement each other as a collection, but there's something in there for a different kind of girl for each one of them. And I just completely adore that. So you can get the same kind of trend-driven look for like somebody who's a very feminine, over the top, hourglass kind of shape, to somebody who's a bit more like kind of grungy and low key and a bit more biker chick. My favorite out of the three was obviously the last look here, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous dress with this huge, massive skirt at the back. It's just so feminine, but it has such a lovely, like dark, like very like midnight vibe to it as well. Like it's big and floaty and girly but at the same time it's a little bit darker and I just kind of I love that kind of like more midnight sexy look to it as well like it's just a really nice take on a very feminine look. Moving on um, I love these kind of more like floaty sort of fabrics like these are like perfect for like sort of spring summer weddings. The neutral colours are just so classic and kind of very feminine um, but they're very very like core and they're gonna stay you know on trend as such for years to come and I personally just love the way these two looks are so floaty and they have the lovely scarf over the shoulder and I feel like there's just like a really nice kind of Arabian feel to these looks. Um, so they'd be perfect as well for like a kind of wedding abroad. So yeah, I just absolutely love these looks. Nude is just a classic colour. It's going to stay in your wardrobe for years. Okay, moving on to some of my more favourite statement pieces. Um, back to Rudy Maguire um, is this gorgeous orange suit. Now Crayola colours are kind of like the thing for spring summer. And colour blocking has always been one of my favourite types of trends. But I feel like colour blocking and those bright colours... They're never just a one season thing for me. Like I really value having a big statement color in my wardrobe to really bring a lot of other items together. And I love this orange suit. And again, like moving on to these more like printed pieces, as you can see, this is a lot more of a statement outfit. Like I can't even really describe like the print that is going on here and the pattern, but I just love it. This is such a statement. And even if you didn't want to wear like the whole outfit together, if that was too much for you, like that pencil skirt with just a really simple like white tee and heels would look insane. As well as the top with just like some high-waisted jeans, like 
you can totally like mix and match these two pieces and that's what I love about this look. Moving on to one of my favourite local designers, these pieces from Norlisa I'm just absolutely loving. One side of her designs that I absolutely love is this kind of cool biker festival look. She makes the most gorgeous kimonos. Um, and these are a couple of my favourite pieces that were on the catwalk of hers this season. Um, and as you can see, they are very festival, biker, grungy little looks. Um, so it just shows a completely different side of what her designs are capable of. And what I love is that you see some of these pieces looking, again, very grungy, but you can take them a whole different level and take them from kind of grunge to boho. Um, so for me, I love mixing up my look all the time. One, one minute I want to be feminine and girly, the next minute I want to be like totally alternative. So that's what I love about her pieces is that you can actually keep reinventing them for whatever you're in the mood for. You can take her kimonos on holiday and they're going to look fab with like a swimsuit in your bikini. But equally, all that fringing um, and festival vibes, I'm just all over it. I love it. I am totally loving this kind of... Japanese floral style um, pajama suit. I am just all over that. I just think for me, when the fabric looks right and the fabric hangs on you the right way, they always look so sophisticated and lovely, but oh my word, so, so comfortable. You can mix and match these pieces. So if you really wanna make a statement and wear something a bit different, wearing like the whole kind of like pajama-esque suit with that like silky fabric I feel like makes such a statement. They go so nicely as separate. With one of those blouses like you can pop them with pretty much any pair of nice trousers or jeans and heels and you've got a lovely little date night look. With the trousers throw like a little vest on and that's a really cute like airport look, holiday look, wear it with heels, wear it with sandals. It's going to take you all the way through spring summer so yeah I'm just absolutely in love with those kind of like pajama-esque suits at the minute. I just think they look so cute. There were a lot of polka dots on the catwalk not all of them to my liking but one particular look I loved was this skirt and shirt combo like this to me was just such a gorgeous outfit such a chic beautiful way to wear polka dots because the fabric was just so flowy and and so lovely and just like draped on the model so beautifully I just felt like this made polka dots look a bit less like trendy and a bit more kind of feminine and classic and, and very very stylish but very very chic um, and I just loved this take on on the polka dot trend. Obviously as always stripes are here, they're always here. What I love is every season stripes rim but every time we just have a, a different take on it. Um, one of my favourite pieces is this striped skirt, it's such a bold gorgeous look. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it looks very expensive. And again, because stripes are always in, such a classic look, something like this is going to be a lovely investment piece. It will take you from a lovely summer day look with just like a little vest top tucked in, you know, to an actual like wedding or christening or lovely event um, and take you on holiday too. So there are so many lovely combinations that go with this lovely statement skirt. Moving on, you've got this gorgeous striped um, jumpsuit, which is worn by the lovely Nula. She absolutely rocks this look, and I just love this jumpsuit on her. I saw this one on ASOS, and it is an absolutely cool as piece. A great alternative for somewhere like the races, if you really want to be standing out and look different to everyone else. Back to a bit of colour now, and it is um, this lovely pink pink look. Now I know an all-in-one head-to-toe bright pink look is not for everyone and I completely appreciate that but using those pops of colour um, especially in as we're approaching summer mixing them in with your more core classic staple pieces in your wardrobe is a lovely way to just brighten everything up so if all-in-one bold colour isn't for you I would definitely still look at investing in these lovely pops of pink and lovely pops of colour it just really brings a little bit of life to your wardrobe when it's just in with your more core classic pieces like your skinny jeans your blazers your trench coats it just makes you look a little bit more kind of fun and lively and a bit more kind of on trend as such. Enjoy your pops of colour. Now, one thing I'm absolutely loving in terms of trends this season is the fact that the slip dress is still in and also 
sequins are still in. The Dazzling People Past the Christmas Party, I'm a huge fan of. It gets past New Year's Eve and you think, ah, oh, all the sequins are gone now until, you know, winter. But that's not true because sequins are still in for summer. Um, there's a lovely 80s kind of vibe going on. This particular dress would look so gorgeous on your summer holidays, like little sequin slip dress, like when you're like somewhere like Ibiza or Mabea, I just think would be a gorgeous outfit. Moving on to a bit more colour, I absolutely adore this head to toe green look. I think this forest green skirt and top is just so gorgeous. I think it looks so classy. This is the kind of look I would take this all the way to autumn winter with me. It's a very great transitional look and the way this fabric just hangs on her and moves on the model is gorgeous and that's one thing I think is always worth looking at with your clothes is check how the fabric moves and how it looks because I find it's just certain types of fabric that just look really expensive if they hang in the right places so that's a little tip I would always consider and again if you're a bit more fashion forward and um, you, you love the colour blocking theme why not colour block with this last look which is this gorgeous all green sequin trousers and top. Oh my word, I'm absolutely in love with these pieces. All sequins and in that lovely dark forest green. Like it's not too much, like it's not too in your face, but it looks amazing. If you invest in two pieces like this, yes, you can wear them now and it will be very on trend, but also you will wear these pieces again in December when you're going to your Christmas party. So that is another reason why I love this look is because it just takes you through to another season and for me and when I'm investing in pieces that's what I like to think about. So guys they were my top picks from Belfast Fashion Week this year. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and like looking at my favourite pieces. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favourite look was out of all the things I picked. I think there was such a gorgeous combination of high street and local designers and boutiques. So yeah I absolutely love going to these shows because you really get to see stuff that you don't see on the high street. I will leave all the details of all the outfits below so you guys can go and shop the looks if you would like to. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it would be lovely to have your feedback. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of this kind of thing and turn your notifications on so you'll know every time I post a new video. Um, take care guys, thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next week. Love you loads. Bye.